So I recently posted a video on TikTok where I said that albeit I had a 2-2 in my first year and my second year at university, I still managed to gain three training contract offers. This gained quite a lot of traction, much to my surprise, and a lot of people asked, well, how did you turn that 2-2 into a 2-1? Which is why I've made this video and it's what I'm going to talk about today. My name is Simrajit Korman and I am a trainee solicitor for a UK top 20 law firm. I'm currently in my second seat. I make videos for aspiring solicitors, I make videos for law students like this one and I'm also vlogging my journey to becoming a qualified solicitor and beyond. Now like I said in this video I want to provide you with five things that I did to convert my grades in first year which were 2-2 so I think I got around 55% in my first year it was like 58.4% I think in my second year at university and how I converted both of those into a 2-1 in my final year. Now before I start I want to talk about the grading structure at my university. I went to the University of Bristol and I studied law there for three years and the grading structure is so first year doesn't count towards your final overall grade your second year counts towards 40% and your final year counts towards 60%. Now, I graduated in 2018, so the structure and grading may be different if you're at the University of Bristol now, so I would double check that before you rely on, on what I've said just now. All of that out of the way, let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing that really helped me in pushing my grades from a 2-2 to a 2-1 was understanding my strengths. Now, my strengths that I realised when I was somewhat in my kind of end half Halfway through second year is what I realised what my real strengths were and it was coursework over exams. Now in exams I felt like it was a massive memorisation task. I didn't really kind of understand how to apply the law to the facts. I only really truly understood that when I was doing my LPC if I'm honest with you. So when it came to picking my third year modules that's when I realised I'm better in coursework so I picked more coursework based modules and that really paid off because in my final year uh, some of my highest two ones and I think so one was really close to getting a first my I think it was my medical law coursework Those were really what pushed my grade up into a 2-1 so understanding what forms of examination really are suited towards your strengths or your weaknesses is really useful. Secondly, I think that making the most of your tutors is something that I wish I did more in my first and second year at university because in my final year, it really, really helped. I went to see my tutors about my dissertation advice. I went to see my tutors about seeking feedback on particular workshops and about seeking advice on how to combat certain uh, concepts that I just didn't quite understand in the seminar or workshop itself. When I had that one-on-one -on -one little training session with the tutors, I was able to build more of a connection with them, more of a relationship with them. And it also meant that when I was asking for a reference from them in the future, it wasn't that awkward because they already knew who I already was. And it also helped me in understanding concepts when I just didn't understand it in the workshop. And I wish I did that more in my first and second year of university. You're paying so much money for your education at university and I think it's really important to make the most of the resources available to you. Thirdly, and I cannot stress how important this is, and it's mock exams. Mock exams and specimen exams are so, so important. In my first and second year, I think in my first year I did go to my mock exams, but in my second year I didn't. So they're the formatives that you get in January and I didn't go to ones in my second year. Oops. But in my final year, I went to them and it really helped to understand where my gaps in my knowledge were and it really helped me to understand what examiners were looking for. Because taking exams was the weaker form of method of examination for me because I preferred coursework, it was really important that I had a lot of practice in. And one thing that I did when it came to revision time was not rely on regurgitating the textbook, rereading the textbook again as part of my revision. A big part of my revision in my final year was doing the mock exams, doing the specimen papers, from memory and trying to understand the elements where I was going wrong and if there were particular questions that I didn't understand linking it back to point two that I've made asking your tutors about the particular concept that you're stuck on. The fourth thing that I'd like to say is reconsidering your examination and your revision techniques. So one thing that I went into university thinking was timelines and mind maps would really help me out and for some students mind maps really did help them out but for me I felt like it didn't as much as I would have hoped because from mind maps it felt like I was just regurgitating out of the textbook but in my final year I realised mind maps are great in terms of visuals 
but one thing that I did to adapt my mind maps was to incorporate a technique called blurting and blurting is where you write down or you say out loud everything you know about the subject or a particular subtopic and then you refer back to your textbook and see whether you are correct and I think a big part of studying law is revising your revision techniques and understanding that different techniques work for different people and because you've done a particular technique in your A levels it's not necessarily going to automatically help you out with your law degree either. There's loads of techniques out there and one book that I really recommend when it comes to studying is, I've not read this myself personally but I've heard some glowing reviews, is Unjaded Jade's book on studying which I'll tag in the video description below. Now the fifth thing that I would really recommend and this is something that I did not do enough and I think if I go back to university ever in my life again I would do this is to utilize group studying. The reason why I didn't engage in my law cohort as much, I had a few friends in, in law school, I wasn't a complete loner but I think I really struggled to study with other law students because I think everyone was so competitive and sometimes I didn't trust other law students to give me the right answer or the correct answer and then it just meant I was like you know what I'm just going to revise by myself because no one's going to help me out anyway and it's a shame that sometimes you can feel like that in your local cohort where everyone is super competitive. One thing that I wish I did more was form solid foundations during my time at law school so I built a solid group of friends that we could like all kind of group study together. Um, I think when I look back at my university experience yeah I had a few friends but I think we all quite individually studied rather than forming together as a group so maybe we could have done that a bit more looking back and also with group study you can test other people you can basically what happens with group study is both of you learn so you can ask an, an individual a question about insolvency law if that's a module that you're studying and then they ask you a question back and it can be a, a back and forth quiz where you both learn a lot so there's a lot of advantages to it and I think it makes revision a lot more fun and a lot less lonely so looking back I wish I did that a bit more. Hopefully this video is super helpful in terms of things that I did to convert my 2-2 to a 2-1 and things that looking back I wish I did to maybe push it further up into a 2-1 as well. And for those of you who have got 2-2s two and you're just really kind of uh, unsure about whether you'd get a training contract or not, there are law firms out there that don't have uh, you know as stringent grade boundaries and I can put a link to that website in the video description below as well and yeah I hope this video is helpful to you thank you so much for watching I'll see you all in the next video